Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this problem. So we have x times the square root of x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides to move this 1 to the right hand side. So now we get x times the square root of x is equal to negative 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and square both sides. Now x times the square root of x squared, well x squared is simply just x squared, so we have x squared times the square root of x squared is simply just x. This is equal to negative 1 squared is 1. Now x squared times x is x to the power of 3. And now I'm going to go ahead and move this one back. So now we have x to the power of 3 minus 1 is equal to 0. And I move that 1 just so it could be sim um, more simple to square both sides. So now, if we have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is actually equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So 1 is the same thing as 1 to the power of 3. So if we plug in our values here, we get x minus 1 times x squared plus x times 1 is simply just x, plus 1 squared, which is simply 1. And now this is still equal to 0. Now this gives us two equations. We have x minus 1 is equal to 0, and x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. For x minus 1 equals 0, this means that x is equal to 1. However, if we plug in x for 1, we get 1 times the square root of 1, which is simply 1, plus 1 is equal to 0. Well, 1 plus 1 is 2, so 2 is not equal to 0. So this is actually rejected. This does not work. So now let's go ahead and try our second equation. Well, to solve this, we actually need to go ahead and plug this into the quadratic formula. So by doing that, we get, I'm not going to waste your time by plugging it in and all, we simply get negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 2. Well, the square root of negative 3, this can be written as, I'm going to write it up here, the square root of negative 3 is equal to i times the square root of 3. Because i is the square root of negative 1. So now, this would give us two equations. We get x is equal to negative 1 plus i to the power of, or sorry, i times the square root of 3 over 2. And we also get x is equal to negative 1 minus 
i times the square root of 3 over 2. However, if you do end up plugging these into this equation, it actually is again rejected. Both of these are rejected as well. And this equation actually has no solution. So no solution is our answer. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 7 to the power of x is equal to 70. Now we can first start by converting 70 to 7 times 10. So now we have 7 to the power of x is equal to 7 times 10. Now I'm going to divide by 7 on both sides. So now we have 7 to the power of x over 7 is equal to, these two cancel out, so simply just 10. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 7 to the power of x over 7, this would be 7 to the power of x minus 1. And now this is equal to 10. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the log of both sides. So now we have log 7 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log 10. Now, the power property of logarithm states that I can actually move this exponent here to the front of the log. So now this would be x minus 1 log 7 is equal to log 10. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 7. So now these two cancel out, and I get x minus 1 is equal to log 10 over log 7. Now, if I add 1 on both sides... I get x is equal to 1 plus log 10 over log 7. So this is our answer. 